we need some comfort food right now, and so we're gonna eat some yummy Asian food. Let's see what I have here. It's a Hong Kong style chow fun with chicken. The beef udon, black pepper mm -hmm. beef udon. A filet mignon, yep. like beef pieces with rice, and yep. then some sauteed green beans. And then we have some dumplings. Yeah. And then yes. boba, we got our shared our tea. tea boba. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, there is a lot on the menu, usually. Mm -hmm. Like, if you go to, like, a truly authentic Chinese restaurant, mm -hmm. and you wonder, like, how they can make so many different dishes, and then for it to come out in, like, five minutes, like, the food comes out really, really quickly. But it's like they have all kind of, like, the same ingredients, but then they just mix them up differently. <laughs> so, growing up, when I was a kid, I always had to eat dinner with my family and we'd sit at a table like this and we'd all eat at the same time. Mm -hmm. And before we eat, before we even take a bite, we would say itadakimasu. And that's, in Japanese, it means like, thank you for the food. And then we would eat, but I would go like this, say itadakimasu, and we'd all say it at the same time, and then we eat. This one tastes a little bit different than ones that I've had. The flavoring's a little different. Yikes. But it's good. Mm. Mm, How's good. that beef? It's good. When you go to Chinese restaurants, do you always eat with chopsticks? You do? Do you? Not always. Sometimes you use a fork? If it's there, I use a fork over chopsticks. Just because some of the food, I don't know. I grew up using chopsticks, but I just, life is easier when you're using a fork. When they have those little plates, it's like you're like, like just trying to get like the little pieces and it's just so difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Asians came up with such a different just a difficult utensil. It is a simplistic thing though. It's just it is two simple. sticks. And it's you can simple. use it for to eat virtually. Well, they use it to virtually eat anything. Yeah. But a fork is... I know. That's a great similar. invention. Yeah. I'm not hating on that at yeah. all. Do you go to Chinese restaurants a lot with your family? Like, Well, we normally eat at home. Um, more of like back in the day when we were kids, we would just eat at home. But once in a while I'll go into Chinese restaurants. If we're going to Chinese restaurants, it's more for dim sum. Mm. Chinese restaurants I go to on almost all special occasions for my mom's side of the family, because mm. it's all Chinese. And uh, that might include Christmas. I'll go to Chinese restaurants. Really? Yes. And on We've Christmas done... Day? Mm-hmm. We oh, would gosh. go to the cemetery. And then we would go to a Chinese restaurant because that's what's open on Christmas Day. <laughs> My <laughs> <Again>, Christmas story. <laughs> so I'd say we go at least like three to four times a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I outside of my family functions, I rarely eat Chinese food. Hmm. Yeah. Because going to a Chinese restaurant is usually very family style mm -hmm. and you usually go in groups and you have that lazy Susan in the middle and everybody's yeah. like sharing all this food so it's always it always feels like a little strange when there's only a small group yeah a small number of people yeah and so do you just order your own dish or are you just sharing like two dishes among two of you <laughs> that's you don't get as much variety yeah you don't it's like very little variety mm-hmm but variety is definitely one of the biggest, one of the most fun parts about eating at Chinese restaurants. And also it's probably a really bad thing too because then you just end up stuffing yourself till you're oh super God. full and you eat more than you really should. Well, because they don't want us to waste. And I don't think most Chinese food people, well, at least my family, they don't like leftovers. I don't know if that's what drives Asian families from like making you finish all of your food is it because they just don't want the leftovers? 
No, I think because they want you to be fat. Because <laughs> they, you know, because like, well, your grandparents or like your parents, like, just, they just want to make sure that you've eaten and that you've eaten enough because when they were younger, like food was more scarce and they didn't have such an opportunity of abundance of food as we do now mm -hmm. um, in terms of its availability and its affordability. So like back then it's like really important that that they got nourished or that they got even just basic nutrition. Just they want you to eat and eat and eat and eat until you're completely stuffed. Yeah, I partly blame that kind of upbringing on my eating habits today. Like I definitely feel bad when I don't finish my food. One, because I feel like I'm wasting food. And two, because I don't get that kind of that same kind of satisfaction from knowing that I have finished all my food. I don't know why, there's not a whole lot of uh, dinner convo happening yeah. at our table. I think it's pretty typical of an Asian Asian eating style. Yeah, it's just you just don't talk. You just eat. But then it does not defeat the whole purpose of like coming together as a family and eating dinner. I agree. I totally agree. We'd always have our rice in a separate bowl. Did you? And then you had a dish for all of your other stuff? Or did you only eat from the, the rice bowl? Um, if I'm at a Chinese restaurant. Or at home too. At home, no. What? At no home, bowl? the rice, no, no bowl. Really? The rice just went on the plate. We always had a rice bowl and a plate. And a soup bowl if there was soup. We do, we do eat a lot of like American or very multicultural type foods, so. It wasn't always Chinese food. Yeah, no, I, no, it was like Chinese, Japanese, Mexican, American, and, Italian. And your like, mom would cook that? Yeah. She oh, cooked yeah. all those different kinds oh, of yeah. foods. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she makes all kinds of different things. We, we would eat Chinese food almost every day. My dad mm -hmm. preferred it that way. Uh, every two weeks we will have, we'll order pizza or she'll make spaghetti, but it's, it was more rare. It was more the opposite, like on holidays and special occasions is when we'll go out and get different types of food. We made a hole in the center of the rice in the bowl to cool it down faster. Mm. And I had this bright idea as a kid to blow into the hole so that the steam would come out faster and cool it down faster. But my dad yelled at me. He was like, don't do that. He's like, that's bad luck. Really? Mm-hmm. He was like never blowing your like fortune away or I've something. I've never heard of that before. Yeah. But I've never heard of anyone creating a hole in their rice and blowing it. My dad did it too though. And he's like, Maybe OG. you learned it from him. He's like, OG agent. You must have learned it from him. Yeah. No, okay. I don't, but not the blowing part. The hole making yeah, part. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, and then I would also like stick my like chopsticks in the rice. And oh yeah, like, don't do that. Yeah, that I know that. One. That's bad. No, well you stick it in the rice and then like if you just leave it mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is that bad? That's supposed to be bad luck. Maybe it's that. It's like something about death. Oh. When I was little and I was I had to eat something that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Like for example, I don't really like green peas. You don't? Uh-uh. You I love don't. all vegetables. Well, yeah, but peas are one of them that I don't really care for. Oh my god. I mean, I'll eat it, but I, it's not my favorite. Okay. Uh, but I, I'll eat like split pea soup. Like it's different. Like the flavor is different. Yeah, I don't like the texture of the mushiness or something about peas. Uh, is this split pea soup like just mushy peas? But it's like completely mushed already and it has a flavor to it that's different. I don't know, to me it's different. But what I would do when there was food that I didn't like, like the peas, I will separate all of the peas and put it like into one corner. And like, mind you, I had to eat everything on my plate pretty much. I couldn't like waste food and like throw it away. So I had to eat it at some point. So I would eat all the peas first. So then I like, I would eat the bad stuff first. The first, <laughs> the stuff that I don't want to eat. And then so I'm just left with like nothing but yumminess, right? So then I just eat the rest of it. So, what I'm trying to get at is that I do the opposite of what mm -hmm. you do. You you leave all the bad your the bad stuff for last, and I do all the bad stuff first just to you get it over. You save the best for last. Yeah. But I just don't want to get full off of the stuff I don't like. I'd rather get full.
full and because you know there's a thing where it's the diminishing effect where you know you you're starving and you you have your most favorite food in front of you and the first bite is always the best because it's like the first bite and then after like the tenth bite the satisfaction or the flavor is not as with like gratifying because it's like diminishing the more with each bite so for me I'd rather save all that for my favorite stuff and then when I barely care about what I'm tasting mm -hmm. I don't eat all the crap stuff but hmm. that's interesting I guess it's one way to look at it yeah you're funny well, I also do it the way that I do it also is because I don't want to think about it anymore. Because <laughs> I know at some point I'm going to have to eat those peas. Yeah. And so I might as well just get it over with so I can like just focus on what tastes good. Rip Otherwise, off the band-aid. Just rip it off. Yeah, just like, you know, deal with it. I'd always fill up on the noodles before the meat and then that's mm -hmm. bad because... You're just eating carbs. You're paying for the meat, right? Mm -hmm. The meat is the most expensive part of the meal. And you're not eating it. You're eating the cheapest part. I know. That's another thing that I used to get slapped on the wrist for by my parents. <laughs> yeah, I understand that point. Makes sense. But as a kid, you don't give a damn. Mm -mm. <laughs> Got any toothpicks? Uh. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching us eat all this yummy Chinese food. Yummy. And, um, uh. and there you Yay. go.